On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, when the main display out is showing on the wrong screen, how do you troubleshoot that? Hi and welcome again to Tech Help for Churches. This is the show where every week I help you with the software that we use in the church. Mostly ProPresenter, I admit, but occasionally other things. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So, I've gotten this question a couple of times and I've noticed that there was a bug in ProPresenter 5 where on some machines it would do this. And so I thought that we'd go through some of the troubleshooting steps that I would do um, if I were in a situation where the main display out, instead of showing up on the projector, was showing up on my control screen. So let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look. Sometimes when you start a ProPresenter, you'll be greeted with this. Now, this is the demo version, so of course you see the logo here, but it could be a black screen, it could be um, a motion graphic, lyrics, etc. So this is ProPresenter 5 and it has a unique challenge and that's why I'm showing that. But uh, the first thing I would do if if this is what I saw is I would go up um, with, well first off I would turn that off. So Command 1 does that. Now I'd go to the Apple and then System Preferences you might be able to access that with your dock, but it'll always be under Apple System Preferences, so that's why I chose that. Now we go to Displays. The first thing we're looking for is this Arrangement tab. If it's missing, that's your problem. You have uh, only one display that the computer can see. Could be a built-in display like my MacBook Pro here, could be the built-in display of an iMac, or maybe it's the an external display for like a Mac Pro or a Mac Mini. Doesn't matter, the result's the same. If you don't see the Arrangement tab, stop and start looking at all your connections and make sure all the displays that you expect to be there are connected correctly. Now, assuming that you do see the Arrangement tab, we're going to click on that and we should see two or three displays. I have three. Uh, this is my stage display, this is my main display, and this is my control screen. See how when I click that it highlights that? So that should jive with what you expect. When you click on it, it should have an outline around it. If you see them and they appear to be stacked on top of each other, that's because this is checked. Mirror display. So uncheck that because we don't want the same thing on multiple displays, we want different things on the displays. So the, that's the system level things that I would check first. Next, I would go into ProPresenter and go into Preferences for ProPresenter, that's Command Comma, by the way that'll do it, and this is the same in Pro 5 and Pro 6. And once you get here, you should see the same arrangement, only you'll see SD. That doesn't stand for standard definition, as someone asked me um, just today, actually. It means stage display, so you want to drag that to whatever display is your stage display. If you only have two, it's going to live on your control screen. Just don't turn it on. Everything will be cool. You should see out on the display that represents your projector or your uh, TV, whatever you're using. If you're using a TV in a church as the main display out, unless you have a really small room, that's probably going to be too small for you, but that's just an aside. So if it's not on the correct thing, click it and drag it to where it is on the correct thing, just like I'm doing here, but it actually is on the correct thing. So that's not it. Here, let me switch over to Pro 6 and we'll I'll show you the same thing over here. Uh, remind me later. Okay, now we go to Preferences. 
and display again and you see that you have the control screen stage display on the left which doesn't have to be on the left it's just where it is in mine and the output on the right which is where it is at, on mine so what we're going to do is um, that is all correct I'm going to go ahead and quit Pro 6 I just wanted to show you that because it's actually ProPresenter 5 that has this particular issue. So what we're going to do is I'm going to once again turn on, well here, so we know that this is correct. This is my middle display, the one that you're seeing. So I would expect the output to be to the right. It's not. So um, it could be the toggling that fixed it. Occasionally it does. There's a bug in ProPresenter 5, yep, see it didn't fix it. So how do I fix that? Let me show you what I do. On my Mac keyboard, uh, on mine it's F3. Now it, it could be a different F number, um, but here's what happens when you hit it. You see how all these windows come up and I can arrange them? This is a mode that the, the Mac has. So what I want to do, you'll notice I've got two desktops. Uh, it's a Linux kind of thing that Apple's doing to have multiple desktops on a single monitor. So I could get rid of these. I can move things from one to another, etc. I have two desktops on each of my three monitors. You may only have one, but what matters is that you grab the output here and move it where you need it to be. In this case, I know it's the one over to the right here, so that's where I'm going to move it. Bam! And it's there. Now, to get back, I can either hit that same F button, again, in my case it was F3, or I can click on one of these to bring it full screen. Let's do that. Let's click on this, and that brings it full screen, and that's fixed that problem. So those are the steps I would go through if I were you and I had this problem in either ProPresenter 5 or ProPresenter 6, that should solve your problem. Well, I wish it was an easy solution. I wish it was uh, something where it's always the same, but there are a couple of different things that can cause it. So I hope that now you know the steps that you can take to troubleshoot that and to get that uh, taken care of if that's a problem that shows up in your church on your ProPresenter machine. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my email newsletter, so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash newsletter, and there you can get a free subscription to my email newsletter, where I'll give you all kinds of church tech tips, tricks, a free ProPresenter course maybe? Yes, that's a possibility as well. Um, in fact, it's in there. You just have to say, hey, I want this. So. Uh, free pro presenter course, um, discounts to some of my paid pro presenter training, and some other quick surprises. So head on over there, and until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.